What is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. And today's video is one that I have wanted to make for a very, very long time. Of course, we are taking a look at how to build the Fantastic Four as Lego figures using nothing but 100% official Lego parts. Now guys, the Fantastic Four is one of my absolute favorite superhero groups of all time. Uh, honestly, these are some of my favorite heroes, period. As a kid, I remember getting this Marvel Legends box of Fantastic Four figures and just being obsessed. And say what you want, but I even love the old Fantastic Four movies, but not this one. <laughs> so anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at how to build these figures individually, starting with Reed Richards. Up first, we have the fearless leader of the Fantastic Four, Reed Richards. Now, I, it's really cool because, of course, Mr. Fantastic is his other alias, and his power is to super stretch. So just to get it out of the way, the Woody and Jesse figures from the Toy Story 3 series of sets actually have longer arms and longer legs than like a normal minifigure would, right? So if you put them side by side, you can see how much longer uh, the arms and legs are. But unfortunately, those arms only exist in yellow on Woody and white on Jesse, which doesn't really match Mr. Fantastic. I mean, I suppose you could put the white arms there and pretend his glove went the whole way up, but without painting or coloring, you know, it's not gonna be super accurate using the purest method where we don't alter anything on these figures. So unfortunately, we can't really use these long arms or legs. I suppose you could get this brown printing off of the legs, but then the blues wouldn't match and you would need to find another torso, which I'm about to explain why that was kind of difficult. So in any case, you know, Reed Richards, as he stands, isn't gonna be able to stretch at all. Uh, and then of course, there's Miss Marvel, who you can see here, and she had those stretchy arms that run through her body, just like Helen Parr did from The Incredibles. But again, those arms are red, so they're not gonna match up perfectly. So there are some great pieces that exist for this character, but unfortunately they're not in the right colors. So speaking of colors, you can see that the torso and arms I used here are from the Mandalorian figures from Star Wars The Clone Wars. Now what I really like about these is that it's this, you know, blue armor look, which definitely looks good for the Fantastic Four. And plus, if you buy that set, it came with four of those. So even though the thing doesn't wear armor, at least you would get armor for three of the characters, which I'll show you, you know, Johnny Storm on his own outside of the Human Torch here in just a moment. So in any case, to pay homage to the old Fantastic Four suits, I gave him white gloves and I pulled those off of this shield agent. Now what I will say is if you took these legs off, you could put these on there and give him white hips, which I think are cool too. However, I think that they look a little bit more comic booky and a little bit less modern. So it really honestly just all depends on what you actually want to do. Uh, there's obviously lots of options and ways that you can do this. And the nice thing is, is depending on what figures you have in your collection, you can really kind of mix and match and build these figures however you want, which again is kind of the beauty of Lego. So moving up from there, uh, the head is from Happy Hogan from Spider-Man Far From Home. And the reason that I chose this head is, is A, I kind of like the serious look for Reed Richards, but B, that Happy Hogan figure was so bad that honestly, it's just a good reason to use him because it's not like anybody would ever want to use that Happy Hogan figure in their Marvel collection anyways. And then of course you can see that I gave him Doctor Strange's hair from Infinity War so that he would have the gray streaks on the side of his hair. I know that Reed Richards technically usually has brown hair in the comics, but there doesn't exist a brown hair piece as of this video that has gray on the sides. And I thought that having the gray in the hair was more iconic than just having the brown hair. So I definitely had to take some liberties on this figure. Now, what I will say is that if you're willing to break the purist method, you could really put any kind of short brown hair piece on here and take a little bit of white out and dab it on the sides if you wanted something different. But in any case, that's Reed Richards, and let's jump over to our next member of the Fantastic Four. And here we have the Invisible Woman. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Here we have the Invisible Woman. So to build Sue Storm, uh, I really, really love Sue Storm as a character. And of course, to build her is super cool to add her to my collection. But I used the same Mandalorian torso. If you wanted to see what the hips look like, these are just the dark blue regular hips. And then if you switch them out for the shield agent, that's what it looks like. Again, I'm always about giving you guys options. Then these arms are from Electro from the Lego Spider-Man line of sets because I like these see-through arms to show that she's, you know, phasing in and out of being invisible. I actually think that that's a cool little detail you can add there. 
And then for simplicity's sake, the head and the hair are from Black Widow from Avengers Infinity War. Now, if you have any other ideas for head and hair combos that would work for this figure, be sure to drop a comment below, as always. But I try to build these figures using the least amount of pieces possible so that they'll be easier for you guys to build. But like I said, drop a comment below and let me know what you think. Now, I did want to point out, too, that there's also this princess character, who I'm not sure what her name is, but she's from the Lego Movie 2, and I actually thought that this hair worked decently well, too, for Sue Storm. So, you know, it just depends. Again, I like to try and keep these things as simple as possible, but I do like giving you guys options as well. Next up, of course, is the Human Torch, and I really love the build of this figure because you only need two figures to build it as you see it in front of you. The legs and the head come from Energy Kai from Lego Ninjago. And then, of course, the torso and this flame headpiece actually come from a character named Flama from Nexo Knights. Now, you will need to take the red hands from Energy Kai and put those on there, but still, it only takes two figures to build this, and I really love this. Human Torch is one of my favorite superheroes, but again, I could say that for all the Fantastic Four because I absolutely love every member of this team. And of course, I wanted to show you Johnny Storm when he's not the Human Torch. So again, the torso with the hands and legs are all the same options as before, but this spiky hair actually comes from Captain Marvel from the Lego Marvel Comics sets based on the Avengers, and it also came on some city kit at some point as well. The face, of course, is from Sam Flynn from Lego Tron, and I just kind of like that uh, smirk face there because, you know, Johnny's definitely a little bit of a prankster and likes to have a good time, so I wanted to give him a little smirk there, and I thought that these matched up really well. And last, but certainly not least, we have The Thing. Now, in a perfect world, we would love to have The Thing as a big thing because, you know, Thing definitely towers over his teammates like this big thing that you're seeing here. But unfortunately, using the purest method, I think you guys would all agree that there's really nothing that exists that even remotely looks like The Thing. So without painting pieces or sculpting new pieces or something, we definitely would need to use a minifigure scale thing. But to give him a little extra height, I put one by one studs on his feet so that when you put him next to a character, he's at least a little bit taller. I know he's not a lot taller, but hey, we gotta work with what we've got here, right? So I gave him these orange legs and then I put a dark blue hip piece on there. So it looks like he's wearing some kind of shorts of some sort. But again, working with orange pieces is definitely difficult because there's a very finite amount of orange pieces that can work for a figure like the thing. So moving up, the torso I used is actually Aquaman's torso flipped around. You can see that that's what the front looks like. And I suppose you could use it from the front, but I noticed that there's an Aquaman logo on the belt there. So I figured, eh, maybe it's best to turn it around and make it as inconspicuous as possible. But you could go either way with it. It's not a big deal. Uh, then you'll just need to make sure that he has orange arms and hands to match that. And the face is actually another energy Ninjago head. And there really are not very many orange Lego heads to work with to begin with. And then of those heads, the ones that could actually work for the thing are basically just this one, in my opinion. Now, I did take an orange head that I had that didn't have printing on it, and I took a little Sharpie to it to give it a face and everything, and I'll show you what that looks like. Now, I know that doing this breaks the purest method of not altering Lego pieces, but I do think it actually looks pretty decent. You know, because the thing is so transformed as is, I think it's okay when you put them next to other Lego minifigures. But again, if you want to stick to the purest method, that energy head from Ninjago is definitely my suggestion. So let's go ahead and zoom out and we'll take a look at these figures one last time and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, guys. Well, that is my Fantastic Four showcase. I really hope that you guys enjoyed these custom figures and be sure to drop a comment below and let me know what your thoughts on these figures are. Be sure to let me know who you'd like to see me build next here on the channel, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO content coming in the near future. So, thanks for tuning in to today's video, and until next time, build on.